Hey yo, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an amazing day or night so far. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can play and even win the Daredevil Cup in Fortnite. This is either going to be super easy or super hard. After watching this video, it's going to be super, super easy. Especially if you want to win this cup, watch this video all the way through. I'm not just saying that. It's going to help you out amazingly, especially towards the end. It's actually insane. So with that said, if you haven't dropped a like on this video yet, make sure you guys go and do that. Can we get two likes? And if you are new to my channel, subscribe, join the family you don't want to miss anything coming out here every single day the kind that's going to be coming out soon is going to be crazy so subscribe if not you're missing out and shout out to raccoon swarms rg9 alex and renegade for using my supporter creative code if you want to join these amazing people and using it it is omnic arg with no space i appreciate you all that use that you don't understand and now let's get right into it So let me get this out of the way first, in case you don't know, this tournament is only for the Marvel Knockdown LTM with the abilities, the weapons, everything like that. It's in the background gameplay. I want you to comment down below, simply yes or no, have you played in the game before the LTM? I want to know your thoughts on that. I would love to know, and I'm genuinely interested in what you guys think, because if you have, you have a ton of experience, but if you haven't, it's all good. I got you covered. So first off, it says this in the rules, and you have to know this. It says, players may only have one entry using one epic account into the event for a given set. Session. Players are expressively prohibited from having additional event entries using additional or secondary epic accounts and or participating from more than one server region. So this means you can't play NA West, NA East, Europe, and Asia. You can only play one and that one only. And basically this means that you can't play in two different regions. Like you can't do the European one, then the NA East one, then the West. You can only do one and one only. In the past you could do opposite. You could play in any one you want and every one you want, but this time it's only one one if you do end up doing more than one you're gonna get disqualified so take my word for it just do one so the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the place you have to get in to get the skin the scoring system and how many matches you actually have to play in the tournament so the first thing I want to go over is the placement to get the skin in Europe it's one through 800 in NA East it's one through 500 in NA West it's one through 200 in Brazil is one through 200 and in Asia Oceania and Middle East it's actually one through 100 that's actually insane if you play in those regions I suggest just switching because 1 through 100 is super hard so the next thing I want to talk about is going to be the scoring system through each game if you've been in first place you'll get 25 points in second it's 10 in third and fourth it's five fifth through eighth is three and nine through 16th is one speaking of games the final thing before the tips and tricks is how many games you actually have it's like every other tournament you have three hours to do a maximum of 10 games and how many points you get is the amount of place you get and if you place good bam skin boom easy oh my god wow so that is how to play now we're going to talk about how to win so i'm going to go over each ability and weapon what's good about it what's bad about it there are some things even if you know what each weapon is that you definitely definitely do not know so make sure you watch throughout each weapon i'm not just saying that it's actually crazy so first of all before i talk about any weapon i want to let you know you can actually combo each of these into different things so as you're seeing in the background gameplay i'm not no expert this ltm but i just know a lot about it because me and my friends played it a lot so now we're going to talk about each each ability and what to actually do so the first thing is dr. doom I'm getting this one out of the way first he has two abilities the gauntlets and the bomb big thing whatever you want to call it the gauntlets are honestly not that good they're good for movement a little bit but the damage is really really low and now for the bomb it's really good in damage it's good for explosion there's a lot of people near each other boom easy boom Hat, get it? Boom, bomb. Okay, the next thing, Iron Man. He has two things, the gauntlets and the uni beam. The gauntlets, super overpowered. You can actually lock on the things as they're running or gliding like I'm doing in this clip. Actually insane. And if you use them right, you can actually combo them with other stuff. And on top of that, they're great for movement. You can actually boost and do random things. Oh my gosh, amazing. Next thing, uni beam. If you get this thing, game over. It's good for damage. It's good for damage. And it's overall good for damage. You can hit like three people at once with it. And like I said, if you are your friend get Iron Man's uni beam it is game over it is really overpowered the next thing is going to be speaking of overpowered She-Hulk if you or anyone you know has She-Hulk on your team you guys have won the game it is good for movement it is good for damage it is good for everything and speaking of this same thing with Wolverine everyone said it's bad or like my friend said it's bad I don't know I think Wolverine is really good it's good to combo with you can jump anywhere you can do these sick things I'm telling you right now Wolverine and She-Hulk if any of you you or your friends 
get these or Iron Man's Uni Beam super overpowered. Now, speaking of overpowered, we're gonna head to the opposite direction and talk about Storm's ability and Black Panther's ability. I'm not gonna say they're good, I'm not gonna say they're bad. Storm's ability is only good for close range, and Black Panther is only good for close range. But a boost of it, you can actually run a faster. So I guess that's good. You can run faster. But honestly, I wouldn't suggest doing anything with... I don't know. That's me. Anyways, the next thing I want to talk about, I like to call this the big hand grabby thingy. Simply, all you are going to do is send this hand towards somebody. It squeezes them to deal them damage and then brings them toward you. This is really overpowered and super underrated for two reasons. The first thing, the combos with this thing are insane. As you see, I have Wolverine and this thing on. He sends them towards me and then I shred him out with the Wolverine. Actually insane. And on top of that, it's really overpowered for the second reason. If someone is charging up a weapon like Iron Man's Uni Beam, and use this on them one it's going to bring them towards you so they can't do anything with the uni beam and two it actually cancels their ability to use it so they got to redo it recharge it really overpowered super underrated the first time i used it i was like this thing is trash then i got used to it and i was like this thing is really really good now for the next thing i want to talk about speaking of really trash but then really good the big boy hammer you know whose hammer it is i'm just saying it's really good then it's really bad at the same time if you use it at the right place at the right time it's good but if you don't not gonna lie it's kind of bad, so keep that in mind. Kind of good, kind of bad. Now, for the next thing, next two things, the last two things are Groot's Shield Bubble and Silver Surfboard. These are good, then they're kind of bad at the same time. The Groot Bubble is obviously the best one because one, it's a bubble and two you can actually heal people you can heal, heal yourself as you're in it and you get protected by everything else the next thing this sealed surfboard is the total opposite you are slower and you're also in the open and it's slower like i said like it used to be super overpowered then they nerfed it a little bit so now it's not that overpowered but honestly super easy if you get any of these things remember your combos they're really really op now for the next thing i want to let you know real quick they're going to be four different cups of this with these different abilities because in the actual blog post for this it says these four cups will build up to a final one million dollar tournament to conclude the marvel knockdown super series happening on november 21st so there's going to be four other cups and throughout the time we're going to get new abilities and new weapons so if you want to know everything about this subscribe speaking of that i heard that if you drop a like and subscribe you're going to get extra good luck in the tournament and why wouldn't you want extra good luck so drop a like subscribe if you made this far into the video one thank you so much two comment the word daredevil so i know thank you all these amazing people on screen right now from ATN the video last time I appreciate you guys so much and shout out to warps William David password and Duva for being the first to the last video if you want to be featured in the next video all you gotta do is subscribe turn on post notifications and be the first to the next video I am dying as simple as that drop a like subscribe have an amazing rest of your day or night and I will see you guys in a couple hours or tomorrow and I cannot wait subscribe to the Among Our channel link down below we're going crazy on there streaming every night among us with subs anyways boop see ya